Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. To get a start, and here is Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, there. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out opens with the inside leg kick oh here comes the kick that one blocked by Lee. well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman A knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it. Great punch landed with so much power. Hey, hey. 
Right. Just missing on the high kick there. Now with the kick, that one is blocked, though, by Lee. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice body. Kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Nice, sneaky head kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Block that kick to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. 15 seconds to go. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight idea. Liver kick. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Yeah. 
punch coming, it's blocked. Big leg kick land. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. What the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at him. I mean, look at the commitment he's kicking in this fight. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice strike. Hip into that leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Big kick lands. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, let's go. Way to hide that leg. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh. Oh, big left hook there. And he continues to work the body here. Punch over the top. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight for both fighting stances. Oh, nice jab. Great punch. He's looking to land the right just out of range. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his face. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. 
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not be dividends early, but as the fight goes on, you will see it start to pay itself off. Blocks the punch. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Beautiful body kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, big head kick. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Well placed kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Good punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, big kick, Lance Flush. Oh! Oh. And they separate. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice leg kick land. Oh, a huge block there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, that's a good right hand. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Just missed with that right hand. Look at him drive the shin into the wrong spot with that body kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand upstairs. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. Oh! Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he got hurt bad. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice kick. Nice. 
next three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready? All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Connects with a right. Look at the turnover in that kick. Big body to land. Sneaky head kick. Real quick leg kick. Cut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because. Oh. That left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. The next with a right. Checks that leg kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice. Side of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Final minute. Punch is blocked. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Back 
back and forth we go. Big head kick. 30 seconds to go here. Big body kick. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Oh, what a punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice straight punch. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Out of range with that one. Right at the Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just missed with the leg kick. That comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. He got him. High kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need to finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick land. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You got to check these low leg kicks. Two minutes now to go in this one. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Still nice body kick land. Able to check that kick as well. Nice punch land. Just out of range with that left hook. Able to 
Shek the high kick. And he caught the kick. Big kick. Counters with a left punch. Nice one, two there. Under one minute remains in round five. Back and forth we go. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. There's no tell on that leg kick. Watch that strike. Just a slip there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, huge Superman punch. Big kick lands. Lunges forward with a left there. Can you say, but what a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.